Last time on Dragon Ball Z, Arc System Works revealed their brand new 3-on-3 2D fighter, Dragon Ball Fighters. It captured the hearts and minds of many of the fighting game community, but can this fighter live up to the hype? Hello everyone, and welcome to our Dragon Ball Fighters basic tutorial. All info presented here was gathered from E3 attendees who played the game, so while we don't know everything, we got most of the system down. But first, let's begin with addressing who this game is intended for. According to the producer, Tomoko Hiroki, the game strives to provide a rewarding experience for fans of fighting games. But its second goal is to give new players a taste of how fun fighting games can be. That is why, while some parts of the game's system may be a bit complex, it also has many features that allow you to have fun from the very beginning, without requiring prior knowledge or practice. You can mash any attack button and get an automatic combo. Not a strong combo, but better than nothing. There's a button dedicated mostly to projectile moves, so you can shoot key blasts with a single button press. Once you get used to the game, it may still be daunting to remember unique combos for each of the three characters on a team. That's why the game has a standard combo that works with every character. Then, when you are finally ready, you can delve into each character's unique options and learn the strongest combos. Special moves are also done very easily in this game, only utilizing quarter-circle joystick motions and down-down, or 2-2. Two, two. Super moves are also easy to perform, done like special moves, but with two attack buttons or a shortcut button. Now let's delve into the system and explain the button layout. There are three basic attacks. Light, L. Medium, M. And Heavy, H. They can cancel into each other. The S button is dedicated to projectile normals and projectile specials. The projectile normals adhere to similar cancel rules and can be cancelled into the character's specials. A1 and A2 are the assist buttons. They perform actions with the first and second teammate accordingly. Moving on to the heads-up display. The super gauge stores a maximum of 7 stocks and gives you plenty of ways to extend combos. You get a single sparking blast per match, indicated by the orange circle under your life bar. Blue life is recovered when a character is inactive, or during a sparking blast. The red circle serves as a warning sign to react to what comes next. It occurs when performing EX specials and dragon rushes, but it won't warn you about vanish attacks and overheads. The character portraits are assist cooldown gauges, Assists need to recharge before you are able to call them again. Point character mechanics. You can double jump and air dash. Performing specials with the H button turns them into EX specials, which have improved effects but cost one stock. 4S is a universal deflect. It can reflect some projectiles and push away some close range attacks. It can only be done while standing, making it vulnerable to lows. L plus M performs a Dragon Rush, the game's universal throw. After the red circle warning, the character advances forward a bit and tries to grab the opponent. A successful grab guarantees a flurry of punches, which can be followed by either a combo, or by forcing the opponent to switch to a teammate of your choice. Dragon Rushes can be prevented by inputting one of your own. H plus S performs a Super Dash, causing the character to home in on the opponent's location and go through projectiles. H normals extend combos, 5H blows the opponent into the corner, and 2H launches upwards. In both cases, pressing H again performs an automatic super dash and allows you to continue the combo afterwards. Pressing and holding L plus S charges your super meter slowly, gradually speeding up, but leaves you vulnerable. M plus H performs a Vanish attack, which costs one stock. The character teleports behind the opponent and attacks quickly, followed by a wall bounce. 
Special moves can be cancelled into vanish attacks in order to add another wall bounce and extend combos even further. Sparking Blast is the game's single-use comeback mechanic and is done by pressing L plus M plus H plus S. The initial execution can blow opponents away if done during neutral or can extend combos if done while attacking. Once active, it grants blue life regeneration and extra damage for a period of time. The less characters you have left alive, the better Sparking Blast becomes when activated. Since it only affects the character who performed it, it's recommended that you save it for your last character. You call assists with a short press of either assist button, A1 or A2. You can call both assists at the same time if you want, but keep in mind that they can be attacked. Every character can only do one specific move as an assist, and some assists have more cooldown than others. By pressing and holding an assist button, you perform a Z change, switching to a new point character. The teammate comes in doing a super dash. You can also do a Z change during a combo, and even out of block stun, but it costs one stock. Ultimate Z change is a safer but costly method to change point characters. While doing a super move, Press one of the assist buttons, and the chosen teammate will continue with another super. That's it for our Dragon Ball Fighters basic tutorial. If you like this video and want to see more Dragon Ball Fighters content in the future, let us know in the comments and subscribe. See you next time.